one of the local players here in this uh, scene of uh, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, crowd innovation. And uh, my topic is uh, what comes next? What comes next after crowdfunding? What is the idea also to bring in the SME uh, topics here in this, in this new um, toolbox? And we are thinking about crowd business. I feel very well in the, with these uh, different tools we have in the background because that's a typical environment which you will see in the Austrian uh, SMEs and uh, of course some years ago, but uh, we have also modern infrastructure up to now. So I will talk about uh, what happens in this uh, area of SMEs and what can we do to make them more innovative. Think about new business models on, on this way. Uh, we did a lot of uh, things in the past. We, we have an environment, a toolbox with different areas where you can come to trainings for crowdfunding or crowdsourcing. We have innovation management as a topic which, which we have um, at the area set in, in Austria since 15 years. And now we see these um, new tools of crowdsourcing and crowdfunding as the way in the digitalization to new business models. And that's what I want to talk about today. So the idea from Christine was how can we make the Nordic to the big player in crowdfunding? I want to talk about how can we make the Austrians to the big player in innovation. So that's what we do uh, today. Yeah, the big problem is um, the Austrians are not so the great player in innovation, also not in financing. Yeah, we have a lot of bank saving books uh, and all of that, but not the investments. At the, at the beginning, most of the questions are, yeah, uh, is the story, will it work? Uh, are we able to be innovative and so on? So what can we do to be more innovative? How can we use the infrastructure to, to get creative fans to your company? And on the other side, also maybe internal uh, people who wants to be more engaged, to, to be a part of the innovation management system, to bring in creative ideas. I think there's a lot of things which you can do today. And the infrastructure, the digital world, uh, all of the tools of crowdsourcing and crowdfunding helps us now to go one step further in this direction. That's what we do at the moment. And crowd business um, is a third uh, uh, or fourth uh, word which we bring in, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, crowd innovation. Uh, crowd business is for me the way to go in, a, in a, this area of business models. So that we, we, we are working on is uh, the first step is where is your crowd? How can you integrate uh, your customers or uh, open crowd for crowdsourcing for find the right ideas? Step one, that is what you see here. Step one is crowdsourcing. Then you have one, two, or three great ideas where a lot of people participated and brought in their knowledge. Then is the next question is, what is the business model on that? What is the service? What is uh, maybe the, the next customer who will also give money on that? And we are thinking in the second phase, it's very important to think about the business model, about design thinking, service design, and different other areas. I will show you some examples also on that. And then in the third step, we think about different areas and one of it is crowdfunding, where we test, uh, is there a lot of uh, energy in that, a lot of uh, also emotion, where people like to buy a product which is not ready at the moment, yeah, maybe on a prototype level. So that's a, a big, uh, I would say, uh, environment and great environment where you can help SMEs and companies to come to a new dimension, how to uh, bring products and services to the market. That's what we address, and this three step uh, are now in, uh, declared in detail. One step, the first step is crowdsourcing, and uh, I think the real great advantage of crowdsourcing is that you bring in a lot of knowledge which you normally have not in your R&D department. So you open to your environments and your uh, company in this area that you bring in the knowledge of your customers, the, the knowledge of different other areas, you cr create networks, and the first step is to bring in the ideas. The second one is also to vote on these ideas. Yeah, so the, the intelligence of the crowds helps you to get uh, to the ideas which you really want to realize, and you have a good energy on that uh, ideas. And, and the third step is, of course, you think about what are the euros which you need uh, that the idea can be realized? So, one example, crowdsourced design for a bank, a wooden bank for Sturian environments. Yeah. Is able, is possible. We had about 80 similar designs which we got in in this uh, area, and that is only one example which you can do on the crowdsourcing platform. 
Second one, Austrian is the first country which is an open innovation strategy at a government level. Yeah? So Austria has an open innovation strategy on a government where you can imagine what can happen in the civil services and in different other areas. How can you integrate the knowledge of the citizens and all of the Austrians? That's uh, what we brought in at the beginning was Think about the future of Austria. Where want, do you want to see different uh, new tools and methodologies as an employee or as a, a citizen of different countries? And that's what we did in Austria to get a one step further to an open innovation strategy, also crowdsourced area. Yeah, what, what is the important thing on crowdsourcing? You have in the first step also to look what is the topic, what is the challenge, what do you want to address? What are the the groups and the crowds which you want to have uh, in your platform. Then also uh, some things like gamification. People want to be engaged and like to do that. So that's also what we address. People on the platform have fun, have the, the possibility to integrate the knowledge on the one side and the other side. We also see where are other people who help uh, together to, to create a new product. Then also think about communication. In crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, Communication is the real, very important uh, thing which you have to address. So if you cannot do that in a company, you would need partners, you would need partnerships in this area. And the digital line to your customer is a great opportunity to bring in the knowledge. On the other side, also to communicate new topics uh, to this audience. So that's what we do in crowdsourcing. And at the end, of course, it's a part of moderation. It doesn't work itself. You also have to moderate such a process. And then the right ideas will come to your company. And the second step, of course, is what can you do with that? Because an idea is maybe some words, some scribbles, and the next step, what you could uh, address is in small teams. Uh, go in this direction, design thinking, service design, innovation management, that you find out what is the right idea, how can you address that, how can you integrate the knowledge of maybe your internal team, and then in this next step, uh, prototypes and all of other things are addressed and also fun to present it uh, with different met methodologies and areas. Uh, maybe you have already some experiences on that. It makes fun. It's a very engaging uh, issue which you can address with different people and people like also internal to be part of such teams. The third one in this process is the financing part, crowdfunding. We use that for financing, of course. But there are a lot of other aspects which we really like in, the, in this area of innovation management. One of it is to find out, are people willing to pay this product, to pay for a service, to bring in euros at a stage where you only maybe have, have a digital prototype and not more. And uh, the idea of crowdfunding in this case is also to not engage one big investor, to engage different people who like that idea, and so you have a market test, and if people like that, uh, the product, you have also people who deliver your product to the market with engagement, with emotion, and I think that's a big thing also in this part of innovation management. So one example on that, which we did uh, in the past for one year, uh, where is one company in Austria, power uh, operator on that, uh, energy operator, and he was thinking about how can we bring the possibility to produce energy also to the flats, to the different areas in the, in the, uh, in the cities, yeah? not in the countryside, because in the countryside, in Austria, we see a lot of these activities, yeah? but not uh, at the flats of uh, Vienna or, or Graz. And the idea was to come up with a product. It's a small power supply, you can say, with a plug, which you can... Uh, bring to the sockets in your, in your flat, and then you produce your own energy on the balcony with about 150 watt, watt of uh, energy. It's not much, but uh, it's uh, a little bit impact also in your um, energy supply uh, environment. And we did, um, our job was to find out, is that product really ready for the market? And our goal was to sell 1,000 products at a stage where we only had the prototype, which was running. Yeah, that's what, what we did. And we did not the way to go to the American platforms, to Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or something else. And we, we said, we want to position that in Austria, Austria and Germany. So, and we came up with our own platform, 1,000 cross 1,000, and said, OK, is there enough energy 
that we can bring that product to the market. With a three month time slot, we said that must be enough to find out does it work. And after seven weeks, we had this 1,000 pre sales commitments and 567,000 euros on the banking account. And after that, we started with the production in Austria. Yeah. That's what we did for this uh, project. 15 years in the past, we would have done that completely different. We would have uh, been asking the bank, say, give me 1 million euro. Then we make this 1,000 pieces uh, with the prototype at the beginning. And with this first series, we would have been uh, asking the marketing department, how can we bring that product to the market? And at the end of the day, maybe we found out nobody wants to see that. Yeah. In this way, we did it completely different. And uh, I think that's the big uh, chance also for Austrian SMEs to integrate their customers into such processes and not a big crowd on an American platform, which this could, could be a upper next step that you find out is there a market in Portugal, is there a market in Spain or Netherlands or what else. That is the next dimension that you also can bring such a product which is uh, already at the stable uh, stage here in Austria, that you go in the next step, uh, maybe with crowdfunding and crowdsourcing facilities also to other countries. So that's um, what we addressed in this small project, it was a nice example. And um, the next step, what we see, it depends, of course, on the product life cycles uh, in your company. How often do you want to do that? Because the first step to go in this direction, to bring in your customers, bring them on a crowd level, that makes uh, a lot of effort. And you have to, of course, um, also change the, the, the mood and the internal corporate culture to go in this direction. But if you have done that, of course, you open the box where a customer wants to be integrated also in future projects. And so we see the big chance if you have 1,000 people who already bought the product, we are thinking about next solutions. And that's what we have also at this project. People are asking now, when comes the app where I can see how many energy is produced on the balcony? That is the next, I would say, chance also to bring in the next uh, product uh, in, in this area. And so it could be something like a cycle that you do that as often you want or as often it is necessary depending on your product life cycle. So that's what we see in this area of crowd business. So crowd business is not only go one for one uh, movement at a platform and, and try to get money. It's more the way to go in a new future and in a new way of your business models in your company. So that's what we address in this area of crowd business. And uh, I think that could also work in this area of citizens and uh, cities. And what I want to invite you, and especially the people here in, the, in Graz and in, in Austria, I think we could come up with platform environments also for cities. I will uh, start an activity now with, uh, which is called Open Innovation Graz. We have a lot of ideas for Graz, I think, you can find out what are the new services which we need, what are the different environments, who needs innovation, who wants to be engaged. And my plan is to bring about 10,000 people to a platform which are integrated in that, in the sourcing, in the idea phase, in the next step also in the, in the funding phase. So that's the first invitation which I want to address uh, at the end of my talk. And the second one is, uh, this is a very impressive and very uh, good conference here, and I'm very happy that uh, Joachim Schwerin, as a big player in the European Commission, decided to pick up Austria for the second European Crowd Dialogue. We have a second conference uh, also at the same level in uh, this year, which is um, held in November in Paris, and um, the international uh, experts and colleagues are very uh, uh, in happy and in invited also to come to Paris um, to talk about the next steps of crowdfunding. So thank you very much, and I'm happy to hear some things about uh, questions and ideas from you. Thank you.